Eastern Suburbs being led onto the field by their captain Arthur Beaton. Some of the East players have had a rather heavy schedule of matches in the last two weeks or so and they could have be a little bit jaded but it's good to see John Mays is in the side. There have been two changes though. Mark Harris replacing John Brass in the centres and John Peard replacing Kevin Stevens at 5'8". And the young Western Suburbs side being led out by Tom Radonikus being given a very uh, warm welcome back to the Sydney Cricket Ground the first time in about 15 months. No changes in the Western Suburbs side but a couple of players to look for. Fullback John D Dorohy, centre Stephen Knight and prop forward Mick Labinskis. Western Suburbs have lost the toss. It's been won by East who will run with the breeze in the first half and the match to be controlled by referee Keith Page. Start of play is taken by fullback Dorohy and he immediately kicks to Olling. Beetson calls for it. Ball doesn't travel the required 10 metres though and the first penalty of the match is awarded to East from the centre of the ground. It's a rather a costly mistake by Western Suburbs. They should have realised that breeze out there is rather stiff. They should have made sure that ball passed over the 10 metre line. This breeze is a rather strong one. You can see as indicated by the flag in the background. It's blowing from left to right but across field and John Peart who's kicking uh, for the far touch line should find the breeze to his liking here and giving him the distance. You can see the effect of the breeze taking the ball out into touch and the second kick for East's taken 10 metres inside the West's half. Riley has the ball. Mullins. Riley again. Caught by Foster. He lost the ball. Hundy has it for West's. Purcell. Caught by uh, the two prop forwards, Baker and Beaton. Playing it now to Elford. Radonikus. Worth. Hundy was running onto the ball, coming from a long way back. Playing it now to Foster. Radonikus to Worth. Worth looking for those gaps in the inside backs. Now Labinskis. Radonikus. Foster. Good tackle by Olling to take him low. West's losing ground in possession. Back to Dorohy now for a kick. All the time in the world, he sized that one up. Putting it down towards Porter. Can't take it. Well picked up by Satterley. Uh, Mullins it was. Steve Mullins knocked on though. And the first scrum of the match will be put down just out from the Eastern Suburbs quarter line. Very cool thinking by Dara. He, he took all the time in the world, put the ball up into the breeze and knowing that the sun was shining in the East boys' faces and uh, he placed the ball exactly where he wanted it. Scrum been won by East and Mays has been caught. Playing it now to Olling. Going up the centre, caught by Myers, number eight. To Walters, Beaton. Baker, good low tackle, Foster it was, Riley, taken by Purcell, another good tackle, Peard, Beaton, Walters, it went to Coot though, and this Western Suburbs defence at the moment containing the East's forwards, Beaton, still gets the ball back but it's into touch, Scrum being said by halfback John Mays of Easts. East ball. Coote standing out of the scrum to Peard. Got away from Knight. Worth taking him. Playing it to Coote. Mays calling for it. Fairfax in the movement. Getting a quick pass to Cameron to Harris. Out to the winger Bill Mullins. Stephen Knight across in cover defence and running him into touch. Scrum being put down after four minutes of play just inside the Eastern Suburbs half. No score yet. Worth. Ball wasn't taken by Knight and the knock-on has been called, so uh, a penalty at least uh, awarded to uh, Western Suburbs there just on halfway. Interesting development. Uh, East are playing Coote in the back line, standing out as an extra 5'8", and as we as possibly could happen later on this game, they'll get the overlap and their back line is looking good with Mark Harris ready on the burst. So this could be a good move and East and the, south, uh, the western suburbs side will have to bottle this lock forward up. Second kick taken by Elford. Elford a couple of seasons ago regarded as one of the best second rowers in the world until put out of the game with a, a hand injury. Purcell.
East have the ball though. Beaton, Peard, good tackling by Radonikus. And East now losing ground in possession to Riley. Fairfax took it and takes it now. It's quite easy to see who the crowd's favourites are today. The Western Suburbs boys get a cheer every time they do something very uh, hard and spectacular. Baker on the burst. Good tackling by Foster and Hundy that time. Walters beats in using his weight to effect two. Walters peered. That's Cameron. A good strong running centre is Cameron. Being chased by Myers. Has Harris in support. Coming up to Dorothy. There's Harris. And run into touch that time. Good work by Peard. He saw the opening on the blind, used it very effectively. This should be done more by Five Ace today. Radonikas to Myers. And the Western Suburbs lock forward, caught on his own quarter line. Playing it to Worth, the 5 8. Dorahi. Tonight. Getting it away. That's Gitto in the centres. One of the winger. And Satterley caught. Radonikus, Worth, that's Hundy getting it back to Foster. Both these sides are conscious of their back lines today. We haven't seen this for the last few matches. They're throwing the ball around. Radonikus working play on the blind side tonight. Good tackle, that's Elford backing up. A little bit unfortunate, the, the old saying, if you can't pass a, a ball to a person in a better position, hang on to it. In that case, he could have hung on to the ball. Scrum being put down in Western Suburbs half after seven minutes of play. Still no score. Ball won by East. Mays. Coote. Cameron. Caught by Knight. To Mullins. Bill Mullins. Myers taking him. Walters. Mays. Long one to Peard. Looking for his winger, it went to Riley though, inside him. Mays again to Beetson. Getting the ball back, Fairfax taking it and leaving it behind him. West of game possession, Satterley in there. Lebinskis. Lebinskis upfield, getting it away to Hundy and away again and Satterley is caught by Mays, it's Dorothy. Dorothy up to the quarter line, Mullins across, gets it out again, and Hooker Purcell will score, but he's in the touch. Touch in goal, no try. Very unfortunate for West, they did everything right there, they backed up the man with the ball, they threw the ball in the right position, and only to be bundled out in the corner. Deserved a try, deserved three points, but it just didn't happen that way. Very unfortunate for West. Restart of play from the East's quarter line by Harris. A long drop kick that goes to Dorohy on his own quarter line. That's a very strong breeze assisting East's in this first half. Running up to Mays and taken well by the East's halfback. West's now in possession just inside their own half. Purcell, Blubinskis. Purcell, blind side to Worth. Worth up to halfway to Foster. And Elford, caught by Beetson. To Myers, Radonikus, Hundy. Very keen tussle on the on the play inside here. Both forwards are giving it everything they have. Radonikus, a high kick again. Fairfax across. And the kick just into touch on the full. Not very much in it, but it was there. We've had 12 minutes of play in the first half. Scrum being served by Radonikus. West ball. Myers to Worth. Nice tackle from uh, Peard. Pa Myers, Radonikus, Knight. Trying to burst through Cameron and Coote. Two very reliable tacklers are those Eastern Suburbs players. 
Radonikus, Elford. Taken by Baker. Hundy from dummy half. Was actually tripped by Walters, but play will go on. Dorahi. Long kick for the far touch line. Mullins is back there. Has Fairfax in support. Caught by Myers, who got down there quickly. Good football by Mullins, the east winger. Anticipating the kick through, dropped back, as all wingers should do in that case. Fairfax, midway between his own quarter line and halfway. Playing it to Mays. It's Riley and Peard. Long one again to Harris, who is standing wide. Holling, really, or Riley, I should say. Peard dropped it. Beetson has it. And he's dropped the ball. West's in possession through Myers. These West players are just hurrying themselves into, into the um, East attack. Radonikas got it away. That's Gitto. Down to the East's quarter line. And he's lost the ball. East's in possession. To Fairfax now. Walters. Beaton. Mays. Harris. Put through the gap beautifully. Bill Mullins away. Coming up to Dorohy. Being chased downfield. Dorohy stumbles him. That was a near thing. Mullins a good run. Down to the west quarter line. Baker. A beaten it was. Getting in the field. Cameron's pass appeared. Baker now to Coote. Coote down to the quarter line. It's a good fast and furious game so far. It's good to see uh, Eastern Suburbs throwing the ball out wide now. They realise that's where the breaks are going to come. Beaten. Standing in the tackle, losing the ball again. Knock on to both sides, though, in the scrum in the centre of the Western Suburbs quarter line. Around the ruck, the Western Suburbs players are worrying East. They're hurrying, make the Eastern, Eastern Suburbs hurry their work. But when East throw the ball out wide, especially out to the hard-running centres, they tend to gain the overlap, possibly through Ron Coote, who is also standing out there, and this is benefiting their side. Penalty given against Radonikas for incorrect feeding of the scrum, and it presents Eastern Suburbs with their first opportunity of scoring, and no doubt we'll see uh, a shot for goal taken here by John Peard. Peard kicking from in within the quarter. Puts it over for two points, first points of the match. Johnny Peard opening the scoring. East's leading two points to nil after 15 minutes of the first half. Up to this point, the as I said before, these Western Suburbs uh, forwards are definitely handling these forwards really well. They're, they're tackling them, balling them all, and if the, if the pass is distributed, well, they're knocking the man over, trailing. It's good football. Getting the high overhead pass to Knight, pushing off Harris. Backing up was Myers, and there's Gitto. Gitto in the centres. Mays can't take him. Cameron across. Very close to the touchline, but inside the quarter. To Russell Mullins now. Brother of Bill Mullins, but not opposing his brother on the wing. West attacking tonight from dummy half. Well, what have West's got planned here? They've been working on some moves close to the goal line. Radonikus, that's Mullins. Speared to the ground by Beaton. Still got the ball though, that's the important thing. Worth, long one to nobody, could be a chance for Bill Mullins. East in possession, but the knock on. Well, with 20 minutes of the match gone, it's uh, still a very tight game and there we just saw a penalty given to Wes. Getting it long and low and straight it up and it's two all. What a good kick from John Dorohy to level the scores after 20 minutes of the first half. John Peard is restarting play for East. A shallow kick allowing his forwards time to get underneath it but taken by Lubinskis. Foster. Not held up up to halfway. Walters and Riley, the tacklers, and Bunny Riley is going to be spoken to. Dorahy sends a good kick down to the quarter line. Easts are now sent back in defence with Radonikas having the ball. 
Tim Hundy and Lebenskis. Somewhere around here we possibly could see a Redonicus up and under. Belford on the half volley and Myers the lock forward down to the quarter line. Playing it to Purcell. Worth and Foster. West using their forwards but the Eastern Suburbs defence is equal to the task at present. West attacking. Radonikas, Worth, Lebinskis. Got it out beautifully to Dorahi. Out to the winger though. Sadly coming in field. Sadly looking for support. He'll have to play it though. To Worth. Radonikas reversing it, going the blind side. Radonikas caught. One tackle to go. Dorahi is at full back. There's something scheming here. High up and under that. It's actually going backwards. Gitto underneath it. Porter up instead. My word, Jimmy Porter does that well. Eastern possession. Coot. Too fast for Elford. What a great palm Ron Cooters has. He just puts out that arm and pushes off any would-be tackler. A very good palmer. Beats him now. That's Riley. Caught by Hundy. Foster lending assistance to Baker. Beats him. Thought he saw a gap in the forwards. And Riley has it. Mays peered, calling for it on the blind side. Shallow kick again. Good direction from John Peard, a good kick. Another east ball that goes to Coote, to Cameron. Fairfax on the burst, got it away again to Bill Mullins. That's a good move. There's Mark Harris. This is danger threatening for West with Harris down to the quarter line. Has Porter going inside, but he'll have to be content with the defence there. What great cover defence by this Western Suburbs side. Now a chance for East to attack. Mays to Cameron. Long one to Fairfax to Beetson. Out to Bill Mullins. Going for the corner. Beats Elford and he scores. First try of the match to Bill Mullins. East go to a lead of five points to two after 24 minutes of the first half. And there you see a real skilled football team. Uh, back line movement, orthodox back line movement, but all, sudden, all of a sudden beats and looms up on the outside centre position. Filling a gap, that's all he had to do, fill up a gap. Uh, and uh, the rest was done by the, by the winger, but it was good football all around. And with the try unconverted, it's still five points to two. Dorahy putting the ball high in the air to Porter and taken by Purcell. Great footballer Porter, never believes in letting the ball bounce, which he shouldn't do, but he always takes on the full on the burst. Turning it to Beaton. Away from Foster. Elford in there, number nine. Trying to reef the ball away. Mays. West players were bunched there around the ball. Uh, around Beaton. Radonikas. Purcell away to Worth. Myers was caught rather easily by the defence. It was Hundy. Stephen Knight and Purcell takes it himself. Goes straight down the middle. A bad laps on the east defence. They should take that man with the ball, standing up. Worth now. Caught by Coote. Levinskis, Radonikas. Pass went to Knight. Knight in the centres has peered to beat but caught. Ron Coote back there covering. Playing it to Myers. Radonikas on the blind. Looking for his winger. Got it away to... Dorahy, Elford lost it. Play on, says referee Page. Now Dorahy again moving in there. Penalty against Fairfax. He's done it and missed it. Allowed a little bit too much for the breeze that time. Five points to two remains the score. Eleven minutes to go before half time and play to be restarted from the Eastern Suburbs quarter line. These two packs of fours not giving one inch. They're really building into each other, both in attack and defence. Another East ball. Mays seeing the opening. Trailed across by Myers, and Mays running quickly for the line. Beats Myers' tackle. He'll score. What a good run from the East halfback. A brilliant individual try. And that's really given the points to East now. Eight points to two when they needed them most with ten minutes to go before half-time. 
great try by Mays. He ran wide. He got the 5'8 and halfback looking at him. He saw that they both looked at him. Seen straight through the gap, and that was it. They can't afford to look, especially that in that position. They must come in and knock the man over, but they didn't, and the, uh, they paid the penalty. John Peart has placed the ball for the conversion within the quarter. That's a better looking kick, and he's added the extra two points. So with about eight and a half minutes to go before half time, that's the score. Ten points to two in favour of East. Shorter kick taken this time. Walters has it. Playing it to Harris. Mark Harris would love to have a big game today. He's been in and out of reserve grade in the last few weeks. He'll make his presence felt today. Long one right out towards Cameron. Too fast for Labinskis. In comes Sadley from the wing to Fairfax now. Fairfax to Bill Mullins. And Labinskis got down there to cover the defence with Knight. East though attacking well. Beaton. Got it to Riley. Riley got out of tackles. Put to ground by Dorohy. The West defence stretch now. Walters from dummy half. One tackle to go. Mays calling for it. Riley is dummy half. Mays, Coote, reversing it. Beaton down the middle. Got it away to Baker. Sixth tackle, a scrum to be put down. Another scrum, one by East with Mays. Held up by Radonikus and Elford breaking from the scrum to put the half back to ground. East now with five tackles to go. Olling. There were two or three gaps there that Olling could have penetrated and he went straight for the forwards group together. Mays, Beaton, Coote. He's dangerous here. Got it away. Good play, Bill Mullins. <laughs> Bill Mullins scoring his second try. What a valuable player this Bill Mullins is. Should have been over on the, when I say should have been, he's, that's where his position was over on the other wing, but next minute he loomed up in the middle of the ruck to take the pass. A good footballer, a good try. And that's a very good lead indeed to East, just before half time. In fact, about five minutes to go before the break, and it's 15 points to two. John Peard now has kicked three goals from four attempts. East now using their wingers again through Mullins, bringing play up midway between the quarter line and halfway. Baker. Riley dropped it behind him. Mays has it, caught by Radonikus. Dora here up from fullback with Hundy. Beaton. Riley stepping under tackles. Walters. Peard. Beaton, it went to Peard, Baker dropped it, West's ball, Worth has it, Elford up the blind side, Knight, Worth, Radonikus, Labinskis, getting it back to Foster down the middle, West's hitting back, playing it to Knight, Worth, Purcell. Good football by West because they are more effective through the ruck than Issa. Foster dropped it. East now to run it out. It's Peard. Beaton. Mays dropped it. Walters got it back. It was a knockback to Olling now. He's lost the ball. Labinskis for West. Getting it out to Knight. Purcell is moving into dummy half. Worth. Radonikus. Not a good pass. Bill Mullins has scored a runaway try, I think. John Dora, he's giving chase. I don't think he'll get him. The hope is Russell Mullins. Russell Mullins coming after his brother, but he's not quick enough. An opportunist try to give Bill Mullins a treble. Bill 
against the trend of the play. Western Suburbs were throwing the ball around, attacking, looking well, but all of a sudden the ball was dropped. And when you have a fellow around like Bill Mullins on the spot, always on the spot, just to pick it up and then a free run to the line, well, you, you cannot afford to do things like that. Peard attempting the conversion from right in front. And that's it, 20 points to two, with about three minutes to go before the break. Restart of play with the kick taken by Peard. Western Suburbs player on the far side knocking on, that was Hundy. In the second half, Western Suburbs using their lightweight summer jerseys. Running from right to left with the use of this breeze. East's winning the scrum. Tackler was Russell Worth and the man with the ball was John Peard. Mays, that's Coote. Dangerous runner with the ball. Voted Australia's best player in the recent test series against Great Britain. To Walters, Baker. Knock on to both sides with another scrum to go down just inside the west half. Baker far too shallow there when he took that ball. He has to stand back a good 10 metres or so. East's winning most of the scrums. Coote barreled over by Worth. Riley, Peard, Harris. Harris will have to play it now, just inside the east half. Walters, Mays, Beetson. That's Cameron being chased by Labinskis. Porter, caught by Gitto and Purcell. Rady, Scoot, Peard, Baker, Fairfax, Harris. Outside is Bill Mullins. Harris caught well there by Elford. Two very strong men here. Here's some of those players are standing men out now, even attacking. They're making the West players chase them across the field. Peard, caught by Hundy. Coot, Beetson. Shallow kick for the line that will find touch too. Down to the west quarter line, a good kick by Beaton, and what's more, a left foot kick. Again, we see Beaton standing out wide this half. He's going to adopt this, this procedure more. He's standing out wide and running at these little inside backs of West, and uh, he's a very hard man to stop even by big men, so he's going to be a lot of trouble. Satterley from the far wing. Russell Mullins to Myers Purcell Hundy Dorahy kick was charged down by Peard Dorahy running it back, caught by Mays. Dorahy has done this a couple of times. He's positioned himself and stood and waited to have a good look. That time it did not prove uh, very successful because the kick was charged down. He must get that kick in quicker. Worth, Hundy. Radonikus. Getting a good pass to Stephen Knight, who got it away again. Gitto has his winger going with him. Satterley coming infield. If any player is going to pull West out of the fire this half, will be Redonna, because he's trying everything. Long pass, well picked up by Dorahy. Out to Myers. Caught by Mays, though. Playing it to Foster. Dorahy. High kick this time, putting it deep downfield towards uh, Bill Mullins. The fence moving down in a straight line. Now Mullins trying to penetrate. Taken by Gitto. Good tactics by West, using the wind, getting the play down in, in the east quarter instead of trying to run it down, kick it down and keep them down there. Porter. Nice tackle by Myers. Olling. Mays. Beetson. Still getting the ball away. 
Mays caught by Labinskis. At times during this game, East have bunched up in close and they've become a little bit uh, indecisive in their play. They must stand out wide. They, they're getting in each other's way. Walters playing the ball on his own quarter line to Olling. It's Peard getting it out to Harris and to Fairfax. Infield to Bill Mullins. Bill Mullins setting sail upfield. He could be too quick again. This might be try number four for him, but it's Harris. Run down. Good tackle by Foster, number 10, but good play by East. One tackle to go. Olling, beaten, getting it out again, peered. Running it into touch. Russell Fairfax works very well with his wingers, like in the old uh, Clive Churchill vein. Looms up on the blind side, runs wide, and throws the flick to his winger. Proves very effective. We've had five minutes of the second half, and Wests are defending their own line, but the scrum all, only about five metres away from their line. Penalty though goes to Wests against the Eastern Suburbs front row, which collapsed in the scrum. That was a much needed penalty by for the Western Suburbs side. They were, had their backs to the wall there. This is now relieve the pressure. Dorahy, realising the breeze is going across field, made quite sure of putting that ball into touch. Wests will take the second kick now, just out from their own quarter line. Myers. What a great straight line defence. You can notice now on the east side. Hundy. Purcell, Worth, Foster, Myers, down to halfway. Purcell, Radonikus, Worth, Knight, left it behind him. Pass was a little bit too high. East's ball now, Mays to play it on halfway. Coote, Riley, saw the gap, Hundy across in defence though. Mays, Baker, Peard, quick one to Beetson to Fairfax, Fairfax running upfield, kick ahead, Dorahy running back to cover it, so too is Porter, and a try, scored by halfback John Mays, scoring his second try, and that's the sixth try scored for East. Well, again, we saw Eastern Suburbs just adopting the tactics of filling in a gap outside. In the, even in, a, in defence, you fill in a gap, but even in attack, you fill in a gap. And we saw no more than, uh, no less than two forwards in the Eastern Suburbs back line. Beetson uh, finishing off the move, giving the clear run. Peard attempting the conversion and gets the other two points, 25 points to two, the score. John Peard now, five goals from six attempts. So after 15 minutes of the second half, the scrum is just out from the East quarter line, being said by Mays. And the penalty goes to Wests. Once again, the East front row collapsing. Well, two points are naturally no good to the Wests combination. They should find uh, the touch well down in the corner and put on the pressure. Now Snodgrass taking the second kick. Ten metres from the east line. Purcell from dummy half. Caught by Beetson. Being rather optimistic there, I feel. Once again to Snodgrass. Radonikus. Underneath Coote. Playing it to Myers. Worth. Knight, turning it to Foster. To Myers, Worth, Radonikus inside, he's going, close, he's there, he'll score. It took West about 55 minutes to do it, but they eventually scored. Halfback and captain Tommy Radonikus. Good try by West. They 
attempted to, to uh, pull the Eastern Suburbs defence out on the first on the on the two previous occasions. Then they changed the point of attack, threw the ball in, and the ever present brilliant Rodonikas was there just to accept the ball and stroll through to score the try. Dorahi attempting the conversion, and he's made it, 25 points to seven. Restart of play by Peard. That's Lubinskis. Ball loose again. Still West's ball though. Just out from their own quarter line. Purcell going up the middle till caught by Beetson. And then goes down. To Hundy. Snodgrass. Coote and Walters, the two East's defenders. But West's working play up to, up to halfway to Dorahy, standing very deep he was putting a high kick up going to uh, Bill Mullins now he'll run it caught by Satterley he's been called upon to play it to Cameron Harris Harris up this touch line, Dorahy coming across, Harris is pretty quick Dorahy takes him on the quarter line but there's Cameron backing up, caught by Knight that's a good run. Easts are attacking now. Riley getting it out again. Coote, a long one. Peard, a long one again to Beetson. Has Fairfax out there. A long pass to Jimmy Porter and it goes into touch. There you can see the value of the long pass when the wind is in your favour. We saw East uh, use it very effectively. Uh, unluckily, the last pass went to ground. It was good thinking by East. Now Knight has the ball, trying to brush off Harris and he gets it away again. Myers will play it for West. Johnny Mays has got the ball for East. But he's given it back to Myers. Radonikas turns it again to Foster. Purcell on halfway. No one running onto the ball or calling for it. Snodgrass. West shouldn't be undoing it by that break by Harris. They should throw the ball back to Dora here again and, and let him put the ball in the air again. These should be the tactics. Worth. Labinskis dropping it. Got it back, though, to ensure a scrum for the knock-on. It's just on 20 minutes in this second half. Uh, the game is a lot tighter, this half, and the West are putting on the pressure. If they can keep this pressure on, they might bridge the gap, but they have a long, long way to go. 5-8, Russell Worth is uh, playing the ball to Radonikas. That's Hundy. To Foster. Radonikas. Lubinskis dropped it. So too did the man behind him. Lubinskis regains another knock-on and another scrum. Far too close, those two men. You could put a chaff bag over the both of them. It's best to cut a man out in a case like that and throw it over his head to a fellow further out. Radonikas getting it back again but couldn't get away from that very good tackle of John Peards. Playing it to Knight. Myers. Satley from the near side wing. Gets it again away to Dorahy to Gitto. Gitto racing away down the touch line. Fairfax to beat and can't do it. Gitto playing the ball for West. Snodgrass, Worth, Foster on the burst. That's a good second rower's run, standing well back and running onto the ball. And Fairfax is going to be penalised here. Fairfax hasn't really had a happy game and he's expressed his displeasure several times to referee Keith Page and to his opponents. And really, I don't think uh, West can do anything else but go for these tries now. Snodgrass a pass out. Russell Mullins still getting the ball back. Hundy put to ground. Purcell, Radonikas, Worth, Knight. Radonikas. Trying to set up somebody outside him. Snodgrass, well tackled, Beetson. Russell Mullins, dummy half. To Radonikas. Worth. That's Myers. Myers through. Got support there, but Worth will have to play it short of the line. 
Dorahi is dummy half. It's gone to Radonikus. Long one to the centres. Snodgrass get it, got it out to Foster. Gitto can't go anywhere. Coming in field again. West are really putting on the pressure now and in the middle of it all is Tommy Rudonikis. You can easily see why this fellow has been the number one half in this country for quite a while. A very intelligent footballer. May is held to the ground by Rudonikis. East have to run it out. Beatson. It's peered. Got away from Worth. Myers chasing him across. Out it went to Bill Mullins. Coming in field nicely. Taken by Knight and Worth. What a game John Peard has had. He's seized his opportunity today and uh, he's making every purse the winner. Peard, Mays, Beetson, Cameron, tackled by Beetson of all people. The attendance this afternoon, 21,249. Walters slips it to Mays. And Olling up the middle. Inside the west half, Coot. A dangerous runner. One tackle remaining for East, Mays. Peard's pass to Harris. Beautifully tackled by Radonikus, but held down on the sixth tackle. Scrum will go down just out from the west quarter line. Injured player getting to his feet is Ron Coote. And it appears that uh, Coote is Coote leaving the field and Olling has moved out to lock forward. 15 minutes to go. East are leading 25 points to 7. The scrum on the West's quarter line. West's ball, Radonikus. To Myers. Hundy. Dorohy, dummy half. Worth. Knight. Out to Gitto, who lost it. Olling playing it for East. To Riley. Peard. Going back to the, eight, the blind side. Caught by Levinskis and got away from him, but Foster was there. Good play by Peard. He noticed his back line wasn't in position, so he propped and went back the other way. Mays. Baker. Beetson. Fairfax missed it. Radonik is chasing it through. Got a good bounce. Caught there by Cameron. Foster got it away for West. To Hundy. Playing it to Purcell, Worth. Running straight into Peard. <laughs> Worth having trouble getting to his feet to play it. Play restarting. Worth to Purcell. Foster dummy half. Labinskis. Purcell. Beaton winning the ball back. Play on with the tackle count recommencing. Labinskis, that's Radonikus to the back line, getting it moving. Myers playing it to Worth. Snodgrass. Caught by Hayes. That's Worth again. Radonikus. Trying to wrong foot Baker who takes him. Here's Knight. Knight charging through the ruck. Knight looking for support. He's brought down close. A few metres out. Playing it to Worth. Radonikus. Long one to Labinskis. Got it away. Gitto. Gitto playing it on the far side. Russell Mullins held up over the line. One tackle to go. Purcell diving. Gitto it was who couldn't ground the ball. Scrum for the sixth tackle to be put down just out from the eastern suburbs line.
these four Mays. It's Peard, had a very good game, caught by Snodgrass. Well, with 11 minutes to go now, the Western Suburbs team are intent to keep East down here. They say while they're down here, we've got a chance to get the ball back, and when they get the ball back, they hope to do something with it. But uh, East are quite intent also on getting it out of there. Baker will have to play it there. Beaton, caught by Labinska, still gets the ball back there to Baker. One tackle to go for East. Peard taking it the blind side and a kick for the line and well taken by uh, Dorahi good thinking by Dorahi he could not reach it on the floor so he propped and took the ball on the chest let it bounce on his chest and picked it up Russell Mullins down to the east quarter line Purcell Snodgrass Radonikus now directing something behind play to Worth the intention was there, but the movement wasn't very effective with Hayes moving in to affect the tackle. Knight, high up and under. Fairfax chasing it back. The ball bouncing into touch though, and the scrum will be put just down near the corner post on the far side. Not actually intended. The, the ball was supposed to go up in the air and lob near the goal post, but uh, the, the result was nearly as good by finding touch about three or four metres out and putting West in a really good position now to put on an attacking move. Scrum being served by Mays. East ball, Mays caught very well by Hundy who broke from the front row. Baker, taken head on by Radonikus. Olling, Beatson, Foster trying to steal the ball and did. Wasn't held. Good play by Jeff Foster, but Arthur Beetson protested the page about that. Worth. That's Purcell, the hooker again. Playing it now to Knight. The big man is Stephen Knight, but not big enough to beat four defenders. West are wasting tackles in there. They're doing that two or three times, trying to barge through, and it's practically impossible to get through near the, the ruck. Quick passing to Worth now. Got it out, Labinskis. Two tackles to go. Dorohy up from fullback, sending at the blind side. That's Hundy. And the last tackle coming up. Watch for Dorohy's kick. There it is. Knight got up for it, sending it out, going for the corner. Referee Page calls the knock on though, with Dorahi touching the ball down. Good football effort up by Dorahi. Never say die. He commenced the movement, putting in the ball in the air and finished it off by putting the ball over the line. Unfortunately, it was knocked on. West scrum, Radonikus, very close to the line. Play it now to Myers. Quick worth. Good dummy that wasn't taken by Peard. Myers. It's Dorahy again. Long pass out to the winger. Once again, that was a good move if it played off, but Russell Mullins was looking straight into the sun as he attempted to take that high pass. Scrum said by Mays. East ball. Been nothing between these two halfbacks today, Mays and Radonikus. Porter, Olling, taken by Snodgrass. Walters, it's Hayes. Solid tackling from Foster. Very tough footballer, Les Hayes. He's not a great deal of him, but what there is of him, he uses to great advantage. Walters from dummy half. Mays. 
caught by Myers, still gets the ball back, beaten, long passing to Harris, chased by Knight, once again a scrum for the sixth tackle with uh, Hayes, uh, Harris not able to get the ball away before being put to ground. I'm sure Jack Gibson will not be really pleased with the showing of East in the second half, whether it's complacency or whether they've just been tackled out of it, but they have not risen to the occasion. West attacking, Radonikas to Knight, got it out again to Dorohy, going far across field, selling a good dummy, has his winger outside, Dorohy caught short. Good run from the fullback to Ghetto now. This Eastern Suburbs defence organising itself very quickly. West attacking, the ball being played tonight. Radonikas, Worth outside, is Labinskis. Labinskis through and gets it away to Snodgrass and caught in a good ball and all tackled by Beetson. If Snodgrass had got the ball away, that was a try, but Beetson tackled him very well. Worth, Radonikas, getting it away again. Satterley. Uh, Worth it is. Worth looking for the pass out on the far side. Satterley is there. It's a try, no reaction from the touch judge, a good try. Russell Mullins on the far side, putting it down. A couple of times previous, previously in the game, we've seen this long pass and it uh, went to ground. Unfortunately, again, we saw it worth noticing the man inside was marked, so he floated the pass over and well taken by the winger. Good thinking by this uh, Worth from Western Suburbs. He's really proved a good footballer today. Dorahi attempting the conversion from beyond the quarter line. Long low kick again and he's got it. What a good kick. Dorahi now three goals from four attempts. 13 points is the difference in scores with about three minutes to go. It's unfortunate there are so many good footballers around. This Dorahee from week to week gets reps for his performances today. He's also, the chances he's had, he's real well. Ball put up into the sun. West's taking it out through Foster, though. Snodgrass. Back to Dorahee. West's realised they can't waste time. Chance for West, getting the ball back. Hundy it is. Myers. Caught by Harris. Purcell. Radonikas. Worth. Kept the ball and ducked under a couple of tackles to go to the East's quarter line. Purcell with it. Dorahy reversing to Radonikas. Labinskis picked it up well. That's Knight. Over the quarter line, and Satterley, Satterley beats him to beat. Getting it back again, Labinskis, caught by Fairfax. This is great football by Western Suburbs, changing the point of attack and running onto the ball. What a good couple of closing minutes for this match. Worth, all the time looking for support. Radonikas is dummy half, the defence is spread a little bit thinner now. Radonikas senses it too. Satterley, getting it back. Meyer scores. Jimmy Myers, the lock forward, scores with 60 seconds to go. The try should be converted. Well, this Western Suburbs side are really turning it on now. It's unfortunate they've left it so late, but the uh, the pass, we sadly we noticed. It. Uh, held on to the pass and got rid of it right at the precise moment. That's good football. Radonik has no trouble. Dorahi at least no trouble with that. John Dorahi now has added his fourth goal. Eastern Suburbs defeating Western Suburbs by 25 points to 17 in our top Saturday league.